Oh, we're gonna drink this? Oh, uh, it's the first time. It's a version. I'll see how things. You not gonna do this? Alright, let's start one more time here. Oh, come so on. Dude. Yeah, we're doing so it. It's this is gonna be in the beginning of the video. Like, Mmm. <laughs> and that gets you though, like, I can feel it. Feel it. Mmm. Warming me up real quick. Yeah, it's like, oh. <laughs> That was smooth as heck, man. Yeah. What is up, Blank Slate Nation? Uh, I'm Ray, D, Brandon, Josh. We're gonna talk. Uh, these are some uh, versions to the to the show, um, and we're back. It's been a, a, a two month hiatus where we've been a lot of things been changing and going on in our life. Uh, I started to grow a beard. Now I was gonna talk about my beard for a long time, but now I don't feel I don't feel comfortable <laughs> talking about my beard because uh, there's a, a better, bigger, better beard here. Triple B. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, triple B's. So I'm not gonna. Um, you know, it is what it is. Maybe later. But uh, we're just gonna we're gonna do what we do. We're gonna talk about some stuff and uh, and just uh, mess around. Talk about what you're drinking first. You got the. So this is the uh, the uh, Shiner Box Sea Salt and Lime. Uh, very limey, very sea salty ish. Uh, very good, refreshing. You are also drinking, yeah, drinking what do you the think? same thing. It's, it, I mean, you hit it on the spot. It's very, like you can taste the sea salt. Like it's, it's like strong. The lime, not so much, but you you can kind of tell. But the sea salt is. It's what adds a little freshness. Yeah, into really. The, uh, pres I, I, I pres like, taste. And it stays there for a while. So. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad though. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm drinking the prickly pear. These are all, by the way, coming from a uh, seasonal box of like heat wave uh, Schinerbach. First of all, I'm a fan of Schinerbach, the traditional Schinerbach. And then this stuff is just great. It's prickly pear. Um, it tastes very prickly, very pear y. <laughs> no. I mean, you said very sea, salty, very whatever. Anyway. Yeah, but that works. <laughs> it's delicious. Hey, when I, when I saw prickly pear, I was like, nah, I'm not going to like this. I like it. Uh, but and why, then, why the prickly? Like why? Because it's a prickly pear. is a is actually like a fruit. It's actually oh, yeah. It's oh, like a, it's I, like I a, learned something. It's actually the name of it. I just learned yeah. something because I never knew there was a a prickly pear mm -hmm. fruit. I had no idea. I don't teach you that guy. Yeah. Teach you that. <laughs> no, you no, can't why be a stereotype? <laughs> the same. I mean, you you guys are all thinking it. I'm just saying it. Like oh, but I don't know. I don't know it either. I, like, I really do. I think it's a, it must be a Mexican thing. Yeah. No, but he knew it. <laughs> I'm not Mexican, bro. <laughs> yeah, but he, he knows a lot of stuff. Cause when I when I actually went to Africa and stuff and came back, he knew the handshake. Mm -hmm. mm. And he was like, "Oh yeah, I know that." He didn't know white boy. And I was like, "Oh, oh really?" Uh, I thought I was showing him something cool, but he I just hold like a, a cat up here like this. <laughs> We're gonna also talk about. He's been gone. He was in Africa, uh, reclaiming his birthright. Nice. No. I well, and uh, and. I was in the process of moving, as you can see, we're in a different place now. Um, we're trying out different angles and stuff. I, I, found, I thought this one might be the best one. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to see a bunch of angels behind me because what I'm drinking in the video. So. Um, oh, right, right. Yeah. Because like judging you. Yeah, yeah. Not good. Also, I started growing a beard. I, I don't know if I mentioned that yet. And uh, I'm in the process of getting out of the military. So. Good stuff. Also, there's a lot of things we got to go in and talk about with him because he's his life is just blowing up. So that's good. Now, what are you drinking? Oh, speaking of uh, stereotypical, Crown Crown Royal <laughs> on the rocks. You know, very delicious. But I like how it might be stereotypical, but you also brought the Don Julio. I did. Which could also you know, be just because you're married to a Hispanic woman doesn't mean you got to bring like. A set. I had to do a little bit of both. You know, so I had to the, peel the crown. Is it always vanilla? No. no. Oh, so there's a vanilla. <clears throat> the apple was the best one. There's a. I heard apple like was the, the apple. best. The I heard apple was the best. That's my favorite. Apple's apple's good. The apple was if you drink, favorite. if you drink it all night, it upsets your stomach. It's 
It's very sweet. Um, yeah, you, you can't. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that too. Though you got it's just. I like did drink. I did drink it, yeah. and uh, yeah. it gave me the worst sugary kind of headache. Yeah, yeah. This one's a little that. bit more on the whiskey it, side. I have a feeling like um, because of the vanilla, it's gonna taste like was it Deseranos? Deserano? Deserano. Yeah, no. it's like that smooth. No, no, it's not that smooth. <clears throat> well, no, Deserano is a liqueur, so yeah. Deserano is a lot thicker. Thick, it's real thick. Yeah, yeah. Like heavy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is more just traditional whiskey with just a little okay. bit of vanilla. Okay, so it's not. It yeah. doesn't give it give it that. No. That thick. It has like a little pinch of, of okay, vanilla. So with the... And usually, if I if I do chase anything, it's with ginger ale because it sells your stomach. Yeah. You know, I got a sensitive stomach. I like that. But, um, I mean, I don't like that you have a sense of stomach. I like that. <laughs> yeah. But you pair it. I like your sense of stomach. Yeah, I like the sense of stomach. He's going he's gonna to take uh, my son driving lessons, so I pay the man in alcohol. Oh, nice. So, I figure it's a good compensation. Yeah. If he's learned to, from someone to drive, it should be me. Uh, I learned how to drive in New Jersey. Okay. And I drove in Philly, I drove in New York, and I can drive in my This is not an interview. Philly. This is not a competition. <laughs> I already paid the man. I and the best driver. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about the best driver. The most reckless, for sure. Most reckless. <clears throat> well, that's not good. That's a that's the opposite of what I want my son to be driving in El Paso. He has to learn how to drive aggressively. No, dude, no. People, defensively. There's assholes Defen on the road. Yeah, so that's why you got to be defensive. That's more important than aggressive. If he drives aggressive, See, he's paranoid. You've already no. Everything. You've already. Yeah. You've already <laughs> <laughs> Next, you go to the Next, please. Yeah. So I think it'd be cool because we're like, you know, the army's like a melting pot. I don't want to go there, but we're like kind of melting pot. We're like from all over the place, right? You're so go ahead. Where are you from? <clears throat> Originally from Colorado. Colorado, Jersey. You're just no one cares. Rhode Island. Wow, well, come on, man. Well, like, nice. Come on. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was born in West Africa. Damn right. <laughs> on it. But I, I was, I was raised here. I was raised in Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. We didn't say where we were raised. So we were born. Yeah, where we were born. Yeah, but I just want to hear you say. It. But, 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 <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, it was, not, it was nothing like that. Though. It was nothing like. You saw the pictures. You didn't see any of the pictures. The ones from your vacation. The whole album. Yeah. The ones, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. It was nothing like. That. Dude. I'm just gonna say right now, it looked like your mom lives in a drug lord like. She's pretty. She's pretty boss up in, in Africa, right? Like she no, knows. No, like she runs shit. So what happened? Like I'm not saying she's a drug lord. I'm not well, like what my mom told me was, um, it was never like that. Like so, his the pictures because they haven't seen them. The, well, I mean, you might have, but the pictures that he's showed me, it looks like his mom lives on like some kind of compound. Like she, yeah, it's like, a, like she owns it. But she does. But yeah, she owns it. The thing is, is like, it was never like that. But after the war, um, a lot of people started building walls around their homes. So she just did. You didn't talk about the Afghanistan war. So she no, built, no, no. she built walls around her home and, and has other homes on the compound. Mm -hmm. Most yeah, there's two homes, and then she just built. A and room. she owns property, like she she owns like this um, yeah, she owns like a shopping mall kind of, and yeah. she and she rents out the. It's like, property. Store it's like I was with them. Yeah, yeah. I was with them in Africa. Nice. What is Africa like? Hey, man, I mean, it's it's got its it's. Oh, uh, hold on! I'm from California. No one cares. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in California. Who gives a shit, right? It's like it's, 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 it's got a nice part of the But um, it's 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 an eye it's an eye opener. Like it looked like you had fun, man. No, I had fun, but it was it was an eye opener. Just I was like, this guy came back. He was having pictures like this with his. You can tell he had like the African jewelry on. He's like this with the African bracelets. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. This guy's being. Yeah, but, but you know what's funny? Look, <clears throat> what does it show, what does it say on there? Made in China. <laughs> oh, like, what the fuck is this? I'm in yeah. Africa. But yeah, I mean, I had, I had a blast. <clears throat> I mean, when I got there, my mom was like, you know, what kind of beer you want to drink? You want to drink Heineken, Bex? I'm like, no. If I'm, if I'm here, I'm you want to get? I want the local shit. Yeah. So it's it's called club beer. It actually, says club beer on it. And is it the worst thing you've ever had in your life? No, that shit was fucking great. No way. That's all I drank. And it was, okay. you can get three three club beers for a dollar. What? Damn. Well, I, no, actually, I, I take that back. Three <laughs> three club three club beers for five, five dollars. But at one point, my good. mom told me that you could get five for five. Because the the rate, the, the rate Exchange rate. is 200. Uh, one U.S. dollar to two hundred um, Liberian dollars. Mm -hmm. So like you're, 
like uh, we went to a restaurant and I had a full plate of food, three beers, and it cost me seven bucks. That is nice. And I was like, I could do this. I and the food was delicious, right? So why? So what made the beer so good? Why did you like it so much? <laughs> like compared to something? Because it was cheap, can you probably. It, to it tastes. It actually tastes like Coronas. The Corona? Yeah. Oh, that I very, very, that very strong. Corona's a bad thing over. I can't drink Corona. I hate Coronas. I don't like the taste. It tastes like skunk beer. Yeah, it gives you the shits. No. Yeah. It's terrible. Oh, it was, yeah. It's it's terrible. So far, your trip sounds disgusting. No. <laughs> no, one, no, one, no one wants to go now. The no, local beer, I mean, I actually loved it. The, the, the beer. And there was this other beer. It's called Sintalo. It's a Chinese beer. But the the guy that, that it imports to this one guy, and he actually um, rents one of the sections of the building that my mom owns. And he's the only fucking dude that imports that beer. He had a plan, he had an idea. He was like, I want, I guess he was in China. And he was like, this beer is great. I'm gonna bring it to this country. And he did that. He's the only person that, that imports that beer. And he's been doing that for a couple of years. He's already like gross like seven million. <clears throat> Like American dollars? Yeah. That's and like he the exchange actually, rate is messed up, right? So like you guys <clears throat> Well most of the time they'll take US before they consider well, no, no yeah. issue. So with Mexico. Yeah, because Mexico like, will take like they'll be like four pesos, I don't got pesos. Four dollars. Like it's not it don't work like that. No, they they rather because it's just too much it's just too much but you know, so they rather Not to the mention US. the American dollar is worth a hell a lot more than that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. But that dude like he wasn't even there. He was, he's actually in the States right now, living life, and someone's running that shit over there. Beer comes in, and then the, the, the crazy thing is, it's not even on ice. The motherfuckers drink that shit hot. Hot. No, thank you. This sounds terrible. If you should not work at the African, uh, what's it called? The travel company? Like, don't, I'm not going. <laughs> You're a terrible spokesperson for Africa. What do you know? your, your case is not very solid right now. No, I don't want to go somewhere and drink warm Corona beer. Well, the, well, no, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm just saying the Centavo. Oh, it's like, like you can. They mostly they they favor it. So it's hot. like sake kind of like a. No, they just favor it hot, but then you can't Nobody drink it cold. But they favor it hot because they've got ice. That could be it. They do what they gotta do. They just gotta learn to. So, so New Jersey is similar to Africa. It's pretty terrible. What's the, what's the exchange rate over there like look like? And do they drink warm beer? Uh, no, uh, I drink cold beer. Uh, I actually I talk I talk smack, but I like New Jersey. I used to go there. I used to go there to do my training. Yeah. Uh, for medic training. South Jersey. Oh. Though. Uh, it's still Jersey, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, no one cares. Uh, it's debatable. 